I think a, a major part of the Honda market is just praying to God that they can trick somebody into buying this car. Could you fellas look at the 2006 to 2009 Skoda Octavia Tour? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> it's the car 90% of the Balkans needs. That sounds like <laughs> snooze. That sounds like something that you fucking <laughs> dip, dude. Small dent on driver rear door due to a deer impact at low speed. <laughs> the deer like hit the side? The Civic was crossing the road and the deer was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the Civic stopped and the dude was like, you stupid, keep going. <laughs> Yo, I'm out here stroking my shit. I got lotion on my shit. <laughs> Are we going to look at SIs only or? Yeah, we're just looking at SIs. I don't want to look at no lesser Honda. All I can say about this generation is the black paint especially failed. Yeah, here's a good example. Yep, massive recalls for paint failure. They're all too old now, so you're not getting a car repainted for free. Holy shit. I had a friend with one of this generation, a non-SI, and its paint looked exactly like this. It was probably five years old, and it just looked bald. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> looks like it's, looks like a pterodactyl shit on it. Yeah. I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed, dude. I'd be pissed. How do they fix it? Do they repaint it? Yeah, they just, they just go, oh, too bad, dude. Yeah, nowadays, they just go, oh, sucks. Well, yeah, now, yeah, yeah but... All right, here's the first one. It's a 2008 Honda Civic SI, 14000 bucks, Littleton, Colorado, 94,000 miles, exceptional low-mileage Honda Civic SI Coupe. If you have been wanting one that is extremely well-kept and maintained, adult-owned, that needs nothing, examples like this one are becoming very hard to find. Clean title in my name, no rust, near-perfect interior, new headliner, only 95K miles, upgrade speakers front and rear, 100% stock, except for coilovers, no clear coat issues, but it does have imperfections, well-maintained, oil-changed, Brand new tires with less than 100 miles. Battery is only a year old. Just got a tune-up with new NGK Iridium spark plugs. Giving its age, some rock chips and light scratches should be expected. Otherwise, this car is spotless, needs nothing. Also, TPMS light is on since the TPMS system on all the wheels are bad. Never bothered me at all. I love this car. I am in zero rush to sell it. I'm only selling because I just bought an SUV. No trades. Don't ask. <laughs> Serious inquiries only. Thank you. And here's the whole then. I'll bet that's way too high at 14 grand. Well, like, that's, it just seems like this dude cares. I don't, again, I'm not a Honda friend. So, like, do the, do the people really like take care of these eighth gens i mean no if, if you're no. a normal human thing. being you would take care of your car in general uh, yeah but nah, there are no normal human beings here the ancient text the ancient text there's an ep3 for sale right now 4369 <laughs> hey. is that the one that just sold now <laughs> hey, can you get that laugh again so i can record that for a soundboard <laughs> not a chance <laughs> Twenty three thousand bucks for one with 2300 miles here's one that went for 11 the hell's a mugen mugen, mugen. A mugen. body kit and stuff nothing yeah here's a perfect cop for the one that we're just looking at this one's a 2008 it went for 11 grand with no reserve and eighty four thousand miles on it same color Less miles same condition wow oh yeah, so that dude on Facebook was on the crack. Yeah, he's, he's smoking that. I disagree with copium. how you guys treat these guys for pricing it a little high because obviously they're going to take best offer. I mean, yeah, it's a little high, but it's not crack pipe. It's just a little high. Uh, uh, no, that's so, not that. If creme de la creme at King Dick auction site is 11, mm-hmm. he's going to get nine on Facebook. I mean, he will have to take he, less well, for sure. Yeah, but like, but yeah, be guess, realistic but here, guy. But if he's got it up for 14, are you really going to come in three grand under and say, I'll give you 11 and expect him to take it? Yeah, because that's, that's, that's like the question. that's like a punch in the dick low ball. It kind of. I, what, like, I feel like Necker and I probably have the same answer, but like, what's the, if you're going to go in and say, I'm going to give you less, where, where's the cutoff before it's an insult? And it's hard to say, especially on Facebook. Uh, I think a problem with Facebook is that the prices are all amped up. Everybody is asking too much right so it's a lot like when you go on 4chan and everybody's being extremely racist and like you have to crank up your own racism <laughs> levels to match what they're putting out i think it's the same thing on facebook marketplace with pricing no Look, I, I hear what you're saying no, they're, no, no, they're, it, they're just idiots it. is what it is it is too high i will agree with you but it's because it, everyone yeah. every person that you've ever messaged has yeah. gotten mad when you offered them anything other than over their asking price. Yeah, well, but again, and I do the same thing, right? We've all sold stuff on Facebook, but like my, it's always at my head, it's always at a thousand. Yeah, right? 500 like to a thousand bucks over. That, right. that's, that's, that's a wiggle Two, three grand. Like it's worked in the past right. multiple times. I, don't send him that yet. Oh, you, you're going to piss him off now, dude. I'm kind of trying to, I guess, <laughs> but let's see what he says. Uh, but like, that's, that's, it's just something to think about, right? Because you're right. I feel like more often than not, we've looked at all of these and seen that people are just pricing shit 
astronomically high. Yeah. But is it? I think it's because lowball culture is really common on Facebook. I think they expected to get severely lowballed. Like Atlas was saying, I think if these people don't know how to, not only do people not know how to purchase cars, people don't know how to sell cars. To what you were saying, Feed, there is a massive lowball culture on Facebook Marketplace. You ever try to sell anything on there? You'll list something for free and broke ass dudes message you asking you to deliver it to them and shit. Yes. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Could you fellas look at the 2006 to 2009 Skoda Octavia Tour? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the Skoda. No Obla no Skoda. <laughs> it's the card 90% of the Balkans needs. That sounds like <laughs> snoops. That sounds like something that you f***ing dip, dude. That doesn't sound like a car. <laughs> we won't be doing that today. However, here's a 2007 <laughs> Honda Civic SI, six-speed manual, one family, Fiji Blue Pearl, probably the perfect 8th Gen SI. Sold for 11,000 bucks on Doug and Bids, the junkyard, 78,000 miles on it, clean title. So, yes, this is pretty much as high as these should go, about 11 grand. Oh, that's a good color. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a, a nice, nice color. color. I still but prefer the white. It, you gotta keep it in the garage. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it'll yeah. wash off. <laughs> yeah, I'll only drive it at night. It's f- pterodactyl shit on it. Yeah, <laughs> it's already happening. Oh, yeah. F. That was a bug shit on it. That's what happened there. <laughs> so we got an idea of what they're worth. Take 9 500. Not at the moment. If I don't sell in the next two to three weeks, I might consider going down a bit, but not 5K lower right away. I appreciate the offer. Also, mine does not have the rust that car has. Damn, son. Like, shut up, dude. But yeah. he knows. Uh, he, he knows lock. he's not getting 14 for it. Oh, yeah. he just like yeah. pulled up the glasses on that one. It was like, well, I'm um, actually 2006 Honda Civic SI Coupe for eighty nine ninety five, driven ninety thousand miles, but does it have an automatic transmission? <laughs> of course Ooh. not. It does not. No. Oh, two thousand six hey. Honda Civic SI engine two point manual transmission, running excellent, ninety k miles, clean. What is this? It's it's nine thousand bucks cash, rebuilt title. Cash, There's cash, your problem. Cash. You're not uh, yelling this, this enough is, for this. This is ad. like this is the girlfriend of a car lot owner that got yes. banned from fucking Facebook. <laughs> it's <laughs> like exactly how Country Boy did, is. you know? <laughs> <laughs> for posting too many for sales. Yep. Can I make a Netgear joke, please? Nail it. All right, scroll down to the picture of the young lady selling this vehicle. Yes. If you had sex with her, you would be insane. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Well, then, no, <laughs> But, um, yeah, okay, so this is a salvage oh title. <laughs> this is junk. Here's an 09 Civic SI sedan, 6,500 bucks, listed four months ago in Phoenix, Arizona with 160,000 miles. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. <laughs> here's, a 2000, here's a 2007 Honda Civic SI Coupe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars six weeks ago in Covington, Kentucky with 138,000 miles, only for trade, not selling. We'll only trade oh, for yeah. a Honda Del Sol plus money on top or a Miata plus money on top unless it's a clean Miata. Damn it. Tuned on 93, <laughs> Mugen wing, uh, Mugen shift knob, Greddy exhaust, Godspeed coilovers, so you can see why you need to give him money. ESR yeah. wheels, <laughs> new rear brakes, rotors, caliper, wide body, so you can see why you would need to give him money on yeah. top. Cold uh-huh. air yeah. intake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ew. God, Ew. what a piece of shit. What up? I thought it was a 350Z from the back. <laughs> I hate those, like, bolt-on flares. Yeah, they're disgusting. Gross. It's not even like fully bolted what? on. Like, it's got rivnut missing. Let me just trade you my clean Miata for this. Your clean Miata plus cash, dude. <laughs> Get the f out of here. Is, is this what yeah. Hot Boys like? Is this what Honda Boys like? Nobody likes this. Yes. Yeah, this is, this is like an idiot. Nobody this someone, likes this. This is someone that, that went through Instagram and like believed, believed it. Instagram yeah. isn't real life. <laughs> TikTok is not real life. People don't like those things. No. Yeah. And you look like this when you do it. Look how bad the rear... It looks like it's like zip ties or something. Like, what the f*** is up with that rear fender? It's like stitched in. Yeah, it looks yeah. like it's stitched in with like leather. <laughs> what? You're right. It does look like a 350Z in the back. 2000 Civic SI Sedan. 3500 bucks 10 weeks ago in Loveland, Ohio. This is going to be a piece. 147,000 miles. <laughs> been wrecked for about a year. That's enough. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, jeez. Whoa. Ooh. Ka-chow. So it's just been sitting like that for a year? <laughs> yep. How do you do the stanky leg? Do the stanky leg. <laughs> How do you just the like... HOA wants him to get rid of it? Yep. <laughs> Why'd he put all these rocks under it? <laughs> it I was wondering anyway. that too. Yeah, this is parking brake now. 2007 Honda Civic SI sedan, 5,500 bucks, 198,000 miles in muy buenos condiciones. Todo le funciona perfecto. Nice. nice condition. It's so here, nice. here, here's here's a tip. 
Ew. Here's a tip. Uh, Here, here's a tip for you, uh, Facebook Marketplace shoppers. If it says in very good conditions, that's someone that speaks Spanish typing in English because that's the literal translation. Like it says in muy buenas condiciones. Like that's how you say it. So mm-hmm. when you're Spanish and you're typing it like that, yeah. if they say conditions, yeah, it's like oh this dude's this dude's Guatemalan or something. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's hanging from the rear view mirror there? What kind of tree is that? I think that's a high school tassel. Oh, oh yeah. no, it's like a oh it's a Yankee candle. It's a yeah, Yankee, it's a Yankee, Yankee candle, candle one. Candle. Uh, but he's got, he's like, got the cowboy killers there. Yeah, yeah. this, this, this is, is what like, this car actually smells like right here. Yeah, like, oh yeah, you know, <laughs> yep. it's pretty clean though, honestly. Yeah, it does look nice. It stinks. But it looks clean. Two hundred thousand miles, but fifty five hundred bucks. I like I his mileage. Wanna... Mileage like a big deal on these. Is I mean, it might not be that much, but I mean, that's two hundred thousand miles of Marlboro Reds too. Look how many <laughs> Febreze things he has in here. He has eight yeah. of them. Oh, plus yeah, the Yankee the candle. Car stinks. This car reeks. Yeah. It's never coming out. And the fucking speakers look like ninety satellite dishes. Yeah. <laughs> They do. The big oh. black ones, you know? Like yeah. the giant ass ones, remember those? Well, you get a thousand channels and half of them are like... In Japanese or some sh**. Yeah, no, it looks nice, but, but I, it's just it seems like a lot of mileage for the money. I like those wheels. The wheels are cool. They, yeah, they're alright. They look fine there. I like them better than the one we saw on the, you know, Mugen Widebody one that we saw last time. Well, that was a heap. 2007 Honda Civic SI sedan. 5800 bucks four days ago in Cynthiana, Kentucky. 198,000 miles. Selling my well-loved and cared-for SI. I purchased this car when I moved into the state almost three years ago and have enjoyed every minute of it. AC and heat work great. Clutch was replaced right before my ownership, around 170,000 miles. New clutch master cylinders, slave cylinder, and stainless steel braided line too. Cars 100% stock. Did rotors, blah, 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 etc., etc. It had a deer impact. Small dent on driver rear door due to a deer impact at low speed. Let's see that. <laughs> deer like hit the side? Like, yeah, ran into it. No, the right deer there, ran yeah. into it. Like that's what that's what that is. The, the Civic was crossing the road, and the deer was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, the, the Civic stopped. In. The Civic stopped, and the deer was like, "You stupid bitch, keep going." <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened when I uh, when my Subaru hit a deer. Full stop. Got t boned by a deer. It's terrible. A deer ran into you? Yes, a deer ran into me. Didn't you run it? Do you, don't you have a deer story too? I've hit many deer i, I smoke deer <laughs> <laughs> i have got, obliterated yeah. several deer you, you've got like a like a little deer like a little deer outline in vinyl and then you've got like a tally marks next to it it's my like 240 World War II SX, fighter. i was driving late at night on a pretty windy road and a baby deer came out like pretty small oh, and no. i slammed on my brakes but it was too late and i punted that motherfucker probably like a hundred feet like he just went soaring and it did barely any damage at all to the car and i had to like call animal control because this thing's just f***ed up in a ditch <laughs> but yeah the, the 240 beat that deer's ass dude my experience was driving home on a super bowl sunday on a dark road and i was in my uh, my subaru wrx so it was an 04 wagon it was black and i see the deer in the road i come to a full stop and this deer t-bones me from the side fucks up my door and my fender and like scrambles over the hood i'm like i am at a full stop the deer hit me I've, this is, did he have insurance? He did this not. Like, <laughs> did you run? Run? Like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. Did I, you trade information? <laughs> no, dude, it was, it was a hit and run. It was an uninsured deer. So this guy is selling his Civic. In YouTube got right a now. K-tuner. All right, let's watch this video. What's good with that Miata, the, dude? Yeah, where's the, where's the yeah. stick beat, man? How am I supposed to know this is cool? Yeah. We'll have to throw some ghosty mane under this. What are those? Yo, hey, yo. <laughs> Dunks? Gordons? Let us know. Yeah, that's cool and all, but what are you wearing? <laughs> all right, they're AF1 lows. All right, well, now we no, know. No, he's wearing, he's wearing and ones. All right, fine. <laughs> A lot going on in here. Oh, Holy clean shit. your trash out, dude. Come on. Yeah, that's the point that we always like to make. Make sure you clean out your car before you take your for sale pictures. <laughs> what the hell is that? For Give Christ. It a- <laughs> Give it a basic <laughs> vacuum, man. Dude. 
Especially if you're going to have the balls to ask $18,000 for a Civic Si, you got to you gotta clean it out, dude. Oh, I mean, the, I'm the not saying anything looks bad good. here, but you got you to gotta just uh, clean it up a little bit. Why the fuck you been farting in the shoulder of your seat, dude? Yeah. <laughs> and look at, look at those why floor fuck, mats. Why the fuck is money still loaded on this vehicle? It's 11 years old. <laughs> it's FBO and has a K-Tuner V3 touchscreen and an E-Tunes 93 pump tune. 2.75 inch exhaust from cat to the back and custom made 3 inch cold air intake with heat shield. Pretty straightforward. Car runs great. No issues. Still feels new. Is on four month old fully adjustable dampening MSR coilovers and has a set of American racing wheels. If you buy it for 17.8, it'll come on the OEM wheels. That's a much better deal, and whoever buys this should do that. Brand new brakes all around. For anything else, feel free to ask questions. Oh, and the miles will go up. Not m too much, though, while I drive back and forth to work. Can't trade, sadly, as I do owe on the car and need something bigger. What? I mean, my man. I mean, I could see him uh, wanting Here, something here's, bigger. Who you own on that car is not anybody else's problem but your own. Yeah. I know you want to you want to try to put money in your pocket and sell the car, but that doesn't mean shit to anybody else because you're asking 18k for a car that in fucking peak condition we've the, shown at at 11. This is a ninth gen. Yeah. This is the next generation. Oh, it's up. next generation. Oh. Yeah. But the still, you're still is, asking a lot. If you can pay it off and have the title in hand, that will make your sale much easier. Because as of right now, you've got to go to a bank or pay off a loan and get the title and do all those issues. So it either needs to be below market so someone will deal with that, or if you can pay it off. Um, I mean, the other options, of course, are like sell whatever parts aftermarket you have on there and see if like a Carvana or, you know, um, CarMax or Vroom will buy it for something that you want because they'll muck around with titles. But if you're looking to sale by owner, that's kind of the kiss of death. And for fuck's sake, clean out that car. Just clean yeah, the yeah, right. Right. Put the trap, put the the trap phone out. away. Midwest Mischief says, I just cleaned it. Then take new pictures. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got you to yeah. take new pictures, for sure. That will help you sell this thing. It'll make you not look like an idiot. <laughs> It'll help a lot. You want to give the buyer confidence that, <laughs> that they're buying it from someone that is taking care of the car. Like yeah. three or four. That like three or that four doesn't people. that that doesn't give you confidence in the car right yeah. there. It's true. Like three or four people into YouTube said, "All right, so update them pics then if you just cleaned it." <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah. right now it looks like oh, I'm buying it from a construction worker that doesn't give a shit about the car. Yeah, it yeah. does. It does. But good luck with your sale. I hope you get it. I hope you get out from under this this f bastard. All right, we we'll really really open that guy's ass up, and now I feel bad. Well, I mean, dude, it's it's tough yeah. love, man. Like that's. Yeah. When I see that car, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah. When you, if you want to sell a car, you got to you gotta package it right. You got to take the foam cup out, for Christ's sake. Yeah. Like the, the foam cup full of Coke Zero, that's got to come out of your car when you take pictures of it. The one that's had melted ice in it for three days? Yeah. All right, here's a 2007 Honda Civic Si sedan, 5000 bucks five weeks ago, Verona, Kentucky, with 153,000 miles, has aftermarket coilovers, just put on two months ago, and has aftermarket K&N air filter. It is straight piped. Needs new oh, front boy. bumper Hell put on yeah. and trunk. Other than that, the car runs great. Just need to adjust the suspension <laughs> a little bit. Any other questions on the car, you can text my number at hidden information. I'm and yikes. Oh, hey. uh, yo. It's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> it's, it's massive. Oh, you know that shift Oh, it's on by a girl. That's the problem. Yeah, oh, there you oh, go. Man. Yeah, why is there a key on like a fucking lanyard? Come on, Deb. It's like three feet long. Girl Come shit, on, dude. Deb. Oh, it's an army. This is a free one you get when you talk to the recruitment officer. Buy the new CCF oh, lanyard at collectorgarfy.com slash store. <laughs> <laughs> shit, we no, we, we don't sell that shit. We should. We should. What's a military surplus lanyard? Santiago Camacho says, is Neckier an A&P? Is that like a liquor store? No, I'm not an A&P. Oh. Sounds like a thing I, that I'm, would get you it's, it's, it's frame, spec. Airframe and power plant. Are you either of those things? Yeah. No. You're not a power plant? He's built, <laughs> he, he, he's built like a power plant. That's his stage name. <laughs> that's a special, power that's plant. his move. That's Next the on the pole. Sure, the power plant. <laughs> it's the power plant, ladies. <laughs> All right, but so listen, a straight piped Civic Si, that's got to sound like absolute dog shit. Why is this lady selling a straight pipe Honda Civic? This must be her son's, right? Must be, yeah. yeah. It's her son's car that she co-signed for the loan, and she took it away. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> he got After he did that, house. yeah. But also, like, it's got all the, like, women's stuff in it. Like, the, you know. Yeah. That's an enigma of a steering car. Steering wheel cover. Yeah, the weir the steering wheel cover, the scrunchie, all that stuff. I bet you it's... Maybe, maybe Deb's just hardcore. Could be. Could be that Deb just likes the noise and the lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> Here, here's the video. Man's trying to keep her down. Oh god, that freaked me the fuck out, dude. A beep. <laughs> that freaked you out, dude. The beeping.
tell like it needs a new battery. Here we go. There it is. Damn. Oh, damn. Space Age materials. Bruh. When they cut the gold stage, you know they're serious. Yeah. They're going to delete their AC soon. Yep. AC's next. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right. So 2010 Civic SI Coupe, 175,000 miles on the body, 110,000 on the engine. What? Ass, ass and doll. Debbie does street takeovers. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> and then Jeremy Arduino, he says, also the insane joke made me lose three of five brain cell. You're killing a Canadian he, right he, now, Poochie. He, he, barely, he was barely able to write that. Look, I know... I know that the whole running gag is that I'm racist, but I don't care about the Canadians. <laughs> gag? Racist it's against Canadians. Problem. Racist problem against Canadians. Po Poochie thinks this is funny, and I think that's a problem. <laughs> I hate Poochie, you Poochie thinks about <laughs> Canadians and laughs. He thinks it's <laughs> funny. <laughs> it's an evil e grin. E-Brick looks like an EpiPen. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at it, and I was like, why does it look so fucking stupid? Oh. <laughs> 7,300 bucks, 175,000 miles. I don't know. It's a swapped engine. It has 175 on the body and 110 on the engine. I would stay away from this. You don't need to buy Absolutely. a swapped one. Absolutely. There's so many of these. Stay away from this. I think, I think a, a major part of the Honda market is just praying to God that they can trick somebody into buying this car. Yeah. It seems that way <laughs> constantly, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but is that look, right, at that, so, look at that Chevy bed I was just sitting say, there? Look at that, yeah. that bed like of the a Chevy. 68, 68 <laughs> Chevy bed just fucking on the ground. Yeah. yeah, it's for that truck and the that's taking up the whole garage. Oh, dude, you got you have bride bride fucking door cards. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> is yeah, that just like a sticker uh, on cloth? Why don't you have the, the seats then, dude? Quick question: Do old Chevys count as tequatches? Yeah, for sure. Oh, hell yeah. That man's got the Tequacha bed right there in the driveway. Yeah. I'm going to pick just one of these. We're going to look at it, and then we're going to be done with Civics because we've been doing this for a while. Square body. Going on 209,000 miles, 198,000 miles, 221,000 miles, or 177,000 miles. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot win. Go back to the one that was like four grand. Yeah. This one. Maybe there's something there. All right. Maybe. 2009 Honda Civic SI sedan, 4,000 bucks. <laughs> Two days ago, Albuquerque, New Mexico. 221,000 miles. Not a salvage title. Decent car. Bone stock. Needs someone who wants to take care of it because that person ain't me. I hate working on this car. I'm fat and have big hands and everything about reaching around this car is tight. Very nice interior. Save the driver's sun visor and the e-brake handle. High mileage, but pretty solid overall. In the name of honesty, issues that need attention are the second gear synchro getting a bit tight at redline. VTEC gear rattles on cold start three out of five times. Torn inner CV boot, front strut top bearings getting noisy. The paint sucks, but that's every Honda from this era. AC gets warm at idle. I think it's the expansion valve. Rear end collision and the trunk wasn't fixed well and is a bit tweaked on the driver's side, causing me to put additional weather stripping so it would steal. Seal. New in the last two years, some so stuff. Steal. This is a nightmare of a car. <laughs> I woke up in a noble bed. I woke up in a Yeah, this dude hates this car. I hate it too, dude. I just I just like that the ad starts with not salvage title. <laughs> it should be. ADVD yeah. says what size are Netgear's feet? Uh 13 double E. You're so full of shit. No. 